Purchase order requisitions can now be done using Skyward Financial Software. Sign into Skyward, click the Financial Management tab, Purchasing Requisitions. Click Add. To move between fields in Skyward, use the tab key or click in the box where you want to type information. Required fields are noted with an asterisk. The requisition group location is filled in. If you are at more than one location, use the drop down arrow to select the proper location for the order. The fiscal year pre-fills with the current year. During the summer months, a warning message will appear saying requisition entry is not allowed for the current fiscal year. This is because the previous year has not been closed in the system. You can select OK. Type in a general description of what you are ordering. Start typing the vendor name. After a moment, the vendor will display. Make sure to select the proper vendor order location. Some vendors have multiple order locations and some vendors have a separate remit to address. Select the proper location by clicking on it. If the vendor is not in the system, you will need to email business services to add it. The email information is provided in the written directions. The ship to location pre-fills. The attention line pre-fills with your name. The due date and ship date default to the current date. You can change the ship date to a future date, but it is up to the vendor to see this request and honor it. Next, click Save and Add Detail or Save and Mass Add Detail. Save and Add Detail will provide you with one line of entry. Save and Mass Add Detail gives you multiple blank lines of entry. The line number pre-fills. The line number indicates where information will display on the purchase order. Enter the catalog number or item number, quantity, unit of measure, unit cost, and a detailed description of what you are ordering. Narrative can also be added. To enter narrative, select the narrative button. Narrative provides additional details for processing the order. Some examples of narrative to include are confirmation only, order called in, do not mail, attachment, reference to a quote number, no, a note regarding a future ship date, or a note to fax. Please include a narrative if there is an attachment in order to alert the business office that an attachment needs to be printed and mailed. When you have entered all your items, hit save. Click on the attachment link if you need to attach a file such as a quote to the order. Next, you will select add requisition accounts. A list of available accounts will display. To select an account, click the box for the appropriate account. If you have access to multiple accounts, more than one account can be selected. To do this, select the next account you want to use and enter the appropriate amount or percentage to distribute in the fields on the bottom. When you are finished, click Save Account Distribution. The last step is to select Submit for Approval. When you submit the order, it goes to your supervisor electronically for approval. A temporary requisition number is assigned. The approval status will let you know the status of the order. WIP, or work in progress, means that you have not submitted the order for approval yet. WFH means the order is waiting for approval. APP means the order has been approved. DEN means denied. You will receive an email when the order is approved. When approved, a PO number is assigned. The requisition moves from the requisition view to the purchase order tab. To view the purchase order, select purchasing, view my purchase orders. The plus sign allows you to expand the field. In the near future, you will not receive a paper copy of the purchase order. The PO is available for viewing in Skyward. You can print a copy of the PO for your files, but it is not an official PO for mailing to the vendor. Once the purchase order is approved, business services will print the original PO for mailing to the vendor. There will no longer be a green receiving copy of the purchase order to sign when the product is received. Instead, go into Skyward, Financial Management, Purchasing, PO Receiving. Click Add. You can enter the PO number, perform a search by PO which displays all your purchase orders, or search by vendor. Highlight the appropriate purchase order and select it. 
You can fill in the boxes with quantities or select Receive All. Then you will hit Save. A screen will come up which displays the current date. Do not change the date. The Receiving feature alerts business services that you have received the products ordered and the vendor can be paid. Additional features in Skyward include adding from an online catalog and cloning a purchase order. Cloning a purchase order allows you to copy information from a previously issued purchase order. This is useful for repeat orders. You can make changes to the clone order. Make sure the fiscal year is correct when you have cloned an order from the prior year. Add from online catalog allows you to enter an order from preloaded catalogs for school specialty and divisions of school specialty. Click the appropriate catalog. When the screen comes up, enter a general description of what you are ordering. The vendor will pre-fill. Save and add detail. When the catalog displays, it should say Welcome Franklin Shopper. If the screen displays Welcome Guest, you must fix this in order to continue. Click on your internet and go to Preferences. In either the Privacy or the Security link, there will be a box to allow cookies. For some versions, you will have to click the box to accept cookies. For other versions, there will be a message that says black cookies and you will have to say never. The catalog contains the school discounts. You will proceed to add items to the shopping cart, check out, and submit the order. An account number will need to be assigned. Separate written instructions are available for catalog ordering. You can check the remaining balance in your account by going into Financial Management, Account Management, Account Master, Operating Statement. Make sure the right fiscal year is selected or use the drop down arrow to select the correct year. The account balance, activity, encumbrances, and remaining balance are displayed. Clicking the plus sign will expand the information. If you have any questions or problems, please contact Jill or Michelle in Business Services. The contact information is provided in the written instructions. Thank you.